You might have seen posts like these being shared on social media after the 21 December's Great Conjunction. Now, technically speaking, the next Great Conjunction will happen in 2040. And that's what this video is all about. So why at some places it's being said that wait for 4 centuries, once in 800 years, is that misinformation or not? Hello everyone and welcome to Astro Roxy. Let's start with the basics. What is a conjunction? A conjunction occurs when two objects in the sky have the same right ascension, or simply put, they appear really really close. A great conjunction refers to the same phenomena, but it involves Saturn and Jupiter and happens with a time interval of 20 years. The planet Jupiter is closer to the Sun, and even to us, it takes it only 11.86 years to complete its orbit. Saturn, on the other hand, takes a little longer, 29.46 years to complete its orbit. Because we can calculate and simulate their trajectory with a very high accuracy, we can predict when the next great conjunction will happen, and that comes out to be 11.86 years, so approximately saying 20 years. The last great conjunction happened 20 years ago in the year 2000, but let's look at some data to understand why a similar one might have happened 400 years ago or even 800 years ago. So I made this short table with the help of a website that I have linked below. It's an amazing website. Now the most important thing here is the second column which tells us the separation between the both gas giants during the Great Conjunction. It's given in arc minutes and for reference, 1 degree equals to 60 arc minutes. If you look at the two previous Great Conjunctions, they have the separation close to 70 arc minutes. And if you have to find a similar one like 2020 with a separation of 6 arc minutes, we will have to go back to the year 1623. But if you look at the third column, this conjunction was just 12.9 degrees away from the Sun, which is very close. And hence, it was visible from only a handful of places. To find a great conjunction that was visible widely across the planet, we will have to go back to 800 years in the year 1226 and that time it was in morning and it must have been a really great sight. We can follow the same approach for the Great Conjunctions happening in the future. Well, the upcoming two ones will have more or less the separation of 70 arc minutes and we will have to wait for 20 more years for a spectacular Great Conjunctions with the separation of 6 arc minutes visible in the morning and it will be really good. The one after this will be 400 years from now happening in the evening. So yeah, there you go. I hope you find this video helpful to understand the conjunction patterns and a thumbs up is much appreciated. Also, what do you think about my new background? Can you guess what is the crop behind me?